Hello everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and I have to tell you, I need a card and I need it quick. So, I decided to pull out my originals book from close to my heart and see what I could find that was quick. Now, I didn't care what size card I was making because it's going to be a hand-delivered card, so it could be whatever size I wanted to make it. The other thing that I knew, I knew I wanted, I wanted it to be a card of encouragement for a friend, and I knew that I wanted to use the Free To Be Me paper pack from Close To My Heart. Now, it is um, May, um, 2014 and this month this paper pack is only five dollars so close to my heart if you um, order fifty dollars worth of um, products so I wanted to show that to you and I'll put the link down below in the description box where you can go and order this paper pack and other great things so I pulled out this originals book and I went looking and I found right here the six by six card and I knew it would fit the sentiment that I had found in my close to my heart stamps so it says um, uh, it's called the tied frame and it's on page 39 so I pulled over to 39 and this was the original card so um, it has all the instructions it tells me exactly what size to cut my papers and so I was able to do that very quickly so then I pulled out my paper pack and I've already started cutting and adhering now I want to show you the inside of the card first now this is one of the pieces from the paper pack it's kind of got this embossed textured fill and this was cut at six inches by 12 inches and I inked all around the edge using the chocolate ink and if you go over to my blog, I'm going to have the links to all of these projects on my blog. Not just the, the website, but the links directly to the products. And so I inked around the edge. I cut it, I, well, I cut it at 6 by 12. I scored it and I inked around the edge. Now the other side of it is solid. And I could have just left it, but I wanted to finish it off a little bit. So I pulled another piece of the paper. This is kind of a coral color paper. And then I cut another piece of this same paper and I flipped it over so the smooth side I could type my or uh, stamp my sentiment. Now this sentiment is an old close to my heart stamp so I can't link you to it. Um, the set that it's from is Everlasting Life Holidays and it's no longer available although you might be able to find it out there in Cyber World somewhere. It's one of my favorite stamp sets and I'm kind of sad that it's been discontinued. Hopefully they'll bring it back someday. But I stamped that in the chocolate ink as well. So we have the card all prepped and ready. Now let's move on to the next part. So the next thing that I needed was this piece of paper. This is also from the paper pack. It's double sided. And I wanted to use this fun colorful one here. And so I cut this one at two and a quarter inches by six inches. And if you look at the um, main picture, the bottom of this is distress. Now, back in the old days when I was just learning how to stamp and distress, I would rip it, but now I have a distressing tool. Now this is a Tim Holtz distressing tool and you just rub it along the bottom. Um, there, Close to my heart has a distress um, tool and a sanding kit that I don't have yet. That's probably going to be a purchase sometime in the next couple of months. Um, and I will put a link to that kit at Close to My Heart. It looks like it's a really neat kit. And it looks like it would do something very much like this. So as you can see, I just kind of roughed up that bottom. Gave it a little bit of a, uh, a roughed up look. And you could have gone more, but I don't want that much more. And so now I'm going to pull my, this is my sponge. Um, from close to my heart and I'll link that as well and I'm just going to sponge around the bottom and um, kind of just stress that edge a little bit now I'm also just to make it stand out I guess a little bit I'm also just going to ink around the edges just a tad and that is going to go to the top of my card so um what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull out my Tombow Mono adhesive. This is the permanent one and this is also available at Close to My Heart and I am going to adhere it down. Now because there's a lot, of t or there's a little bit, not a lot, whoops I got off. Because there's a little bit of texture to the top of my um, card front, I want to be sure and have plenty of adhesive so I'm sure that it will stick. Sorry about that. I have a hot mess around here. I have done so many projects lately and I haven't had time to clean up. So I have a humongous mess. So this one is going to go right on the top of my card. Just like 
that and adhere that down. So I've already done the next couple steps as well just because they were time consuming. I have two other pieces here and you can see this was where I was practicing my stamping and you can do that. I was just practicing and so um, I wanted to make sure that my stamp was all prepped and it's a good thing I did because my husband was showing me something at the same time and when I put the stamp on my block I put it on upside down and I would have felt horrible had I ruined my um, piece without realizing it. So I'm really glad I did that. Just a tip. So um, I have two pieces here. This one is a um, four inches by three and a half and then this smaller one is uh, three and a half by three and I've already I distressed those and inked them and heard them together and then I use my crop dial to do the top. And this is where the next part is going to come in. I have the Give a Lift stamp set from um, and this one is current and I'll link that below but it actually is not just a link this is part of the art booking um, set and the only way you can get it is if you purchase art booking but it's great and it's well worth the investment the Cricut cartridges from close to my heart are worth the investment but the one I'm using here says wishing you happiness and sunshine I have a friend that um, has recently had surgery and I just wanted to do this little card for her. So now I'm just going to ink up my stamp really well and because I am not I want to be sure that I've inked it up really well I'm just going to go to the back and practice and the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to mess up my piece and it's inked up well but this is a stamp. We I had a gathering the other day and um, I gave this tip and it was funny to watch us how we did it when, it, when you use the insert that comes with your stamp set, it is amazing how much better your stamped images turn out. They are so much more um, even. There are less likely to be empty spots, and I've really appreciated that about learning that tip from close to my heart. So I'm just going to put this towards the bottom and just go just like that and stamp it. Now I guess I had messed up my stamp but I'm going to be fine with it. It's not that noticeable. So um, be watch your acrylic box or if you're using wood stamps the same thing. Just watch them. Make sure that you are not leaving paint behind on the back because that's what happens when you do. Okay so now we're going to attach this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have a piece of ribbon here and this ribbon is from Three Girl Jam of course I have some gorgeous Three Girl Jam ribbon and this is London Blue and I needed about 18 inches of it so I am just going to use my grid here and I know that's off grid a little bit but I'm going to use that and I'm going to cut my ribbon just like that and um, so I'm going to take my card base, I'm going to start there, I'm just going to come around from the back just like that. Now I am going to add a little bit extra adhesive even though it doesn't say to necessarily I don't think, but I want to add it. So um, I added that adhesive just because I don't want it flopping down, especially since I put all that stuff on the back. Um, so I'll have to be real careful about you making sure that it's in the place where I want it before I smash it down so I don't make a mess. And I'm just running this ribbon right through the holes. And this is a little bit darker than the um, card base the ribbon is, but the color is in these little um, triangles, I guess. And so I thought it still was a good match. So I'm just going to tear that down and then I'm going to tie it. Now I'm not tying a bow this time. This is just a knot, just a loose knot. And there we have it. And I'm just going to trim off my ends just a bit, just like so, so that I have my knot. Make sure I've got it all the way I want it. And there we have our card. Wishing you happiness and sunshine. And then on the inside, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. So I think this is a card that my friend will like. I think I'm also going to run a little bit, because I added that extra bulk, I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive 
under the top edge of the card and kind of smash that down as well. So there we have it. So thanks so much for stopping by today. And um, remember, take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day. Bye.